why in this exercise we are going to set up and process payroll for a couple of employees one of the employee is uh, Arif Chaudhary so add employee and let's type in the name Arif Chaudhary okay the date of birth should be more than 18 years of age so we're going to change um, the date of birth and access uh, should be alberta we are in alberta there is no ei because he's one of the owner and let's click on income income is pay periods per year 12 because it's a monthly payroll and vacation rate is four percent save and close the other employee that we are going to add her name is lini lini pakulba and again the date of birth should be older than 18 years so taxes tax table alberta and in this case calculate ei which is all right because she is a regular employee so there will be ei contribution and let's click let's click on income Pay periods per year is 12 because it's a monthly payroll. Vacation is 4%. So save and close. Now one of the employee, Mr. Arif Choudhury, has subcontract and travel cost along with his uh, regular salary. So let's see if we have those two payroll items in the payroll accounts. So set up, settings, uh, payroll, and then income. So there is no subcontract there is no travel cost so this is the regular salary this commission uh, could be renamed as subcontract and this income could income three could be renamed as travel cost say okay close now we are need we are, we are going to um, link these two accounts with the subcontract and travel cost accounts in the chart of accounts to do that let's click on setup settings again linked account okay income and then you see here subcontract is linked with wages and salaries which is not right so let's click here and then subcontract should be linked with subcontract and travel cost should be linked with travel cost so the linking is done okay now let's go and uh, process the payroll paychecks Cl click on paycheck create paycheck and then click on the employee Arif Choudhury click here okay the check number is three that's then that's that's an again an imaginary number don't worry about it check date should be uh, last week of December uh, pay period start date is December 1st last date pay period end date is december 31st and here uh, arif salary dr arif salary is regular salary is two thousand dollar subcontract is six thousand and travel cost is 330 and let's see how about his tax and other deductions so click on this tax tab and cpp his cpp is sixty dollar and tax is 2060 so if we overwrite those amounts you would see that his net income is six thousand two hundred ten dollars so if we need to print the check click on file and then print but here in this case we are not going to print anything so just process it yes 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 and then yes again okay so first check is processed then now let's check the other one uh, Lini Pakulba again click here okay check number four same dates uh, Lini's salary is two thousand dollar and her tax deduction would be here you know click on this taxes tab CPP is sixty dollar tax is two hundred sixty so her net income is um, so sorry uh, ei is how much is the ei ei is um ei is 35 dollar ei is 80 dollar
okay so her net pay is sixteen hundred dollar so again if you need to click uh, if you need to print the check click on file and then print in this case we are not printing any checks so just process so the checks are processed